Um, I'm almost to the part where I need to add thread. When you have about this much left, you would put a different colored bead on. That will come off later. Take your needle off and preferably at the edges, not in the middle when you decide to do that. So I'm just gonna push this down a little. Um, when you start um, making your bracelet, you can use a measuring tape and measure how much, how big you need to make it. Like, well, my wrist is six inches. So I'll leave about, I'll make it to about five and a half inches, this, and then um, that's when I would be finished. But I still have a ways to go because it's only up to there. So I'm gonna add thread, keep my tail on that side. I'll take another arm's length. I may not, I probably won't need all that, but I'll just take it anyway. And I can just cut it off later, or work it back in a little bit. So, this is uh, like the one I made in the video from Awa, but different colors. And you don't necessarily need dark light you could use light dark. It's just to help you see which ones to go through. Once you become better at doing the netted bracelets, you can make them as wide or as narrow as you want, and you can use like all one color if you like. But you then you'd have to count like between to see, I guess, where, where you are, like which ones to go through. Okay, so now I'm using, um, I'm tying on a different color bead again. These will come off later, and I'm leaving a little tail there. And I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna start a little bit behind. Like I'll do this black bead, and I'm gonna come out there eventually, but I'm gonna go through here. And you have to uh, make sure that when you're beading, that you snug up your thread so it doesn't become too loose either every once in a while. I like to hold on to my beadwork to, to have control of it. Some people like to put it down on the table while they're beading, but I find this easiest for me. So I hope you could see I went this way through that black one down this way through all of those, another black one, all of these through the black one, and I'm gonna go up around this way. I'm gonna come down again. I'm gonna go this way, this way, this way, this way, just so the thread doesn't come out. And then I'm gonna come out the same place where this one is before I continue beading. Now these are, uh, bigger bead size eight. So what I'm gonna have to do later is do like half hitch knots to, to uh, attach it so it doesn't just uh, come out, like slip right out so the thread doesn't slip out. When you're using smaller beads like the, um, like the size tens, you don't even have to do the half hitch knots. Also, um, these are check beads, but you could use Toho beads if you want. They're uh, more uniform in size. They cost more though, and they sell them at uh, they sell them at the Winnipeg Trading Post and also at um, at Poco beads. Poco has lots of neat things over there. Okay, now I'm gonna go this way. has a rewards program too, right? Right, they do. And they have sales? They have a sale on right now. If you sign up for their um, 
Mm -hmm. newsletter? And I put I like them on Facebook so they I get notified when they have a sale. Now I'm going to go up this way. They have classes there too. I don't know how much they cost though. They're not free. And this way. And I'll come up this way being careful not to get caught in that other thread there. I don't want to get it tangled when I take the bead off, those other beads. And now I'm just going to continue. I'm going to continue 